Agent K-7 returns. number one adventurer K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent M, reporting for duty. Agent M... Somewhere in Paris, there is a stationary agent who must be found. We know that this man is not an ordinary spy, but that is about all we do know of him. Information is brought to him, and when the time comes, he passes it on. Several operatives have worked on the case, but all have failed. These records contain the known facts. You won't find much to help you. Keep me informed. Agent M spent the following days casting about for a lead. In the meantime, Yvonne was inactive. She visited the Paris fashion centers, replenishing her wardrobe. It was early evening, ten days after Agent M started his investigation, when Yvonne waited for him outside a small sidewalk cafe. Near her stood a blind man. M is late. It isn't like him. Good evening, Monsieur de Blanman. Thank you, Monsieur. I wonder if I have a coin for him. Yes, here's one. Here you are, Monsieur. Thank you, Mademoiselle. You, you're an American. Well, how did you know that? Your voice. It isn't often I hear my own language here. The tourists don't often come to this neighborhood. Oh, and you're an American, too. Yes, Mademoiselle. But why are you here in Paris? I've been here since the war. I enlisted in the Canadian forces. After the war, I stayed. Your eyes. The war? Yes, mademoiselle. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 you mustn't be. I'm happy. Often the urge to go home strong, but since I can't, I'm content to stay here and serve. What do you mean? I still serve my country, mademoiselle. Don't ask me how. I, I can't tell you, but I still serve. What's your name? <laughs> I am known to everyone here as Monsieur the Blind Man. Yvonne. M. Oh, my friend has come for me. Good night, Monsieur the Blind Man. Good night, mademoiselle. I didn't see you come up, M. Let's sit at this little table here. Oh, I suppose we might as well. Did anything happen today? Nothing, Yvonne. K-7 told me that several operatives had failed on this case. It looks as if I am going to fail, too. I can't find the lead. You're tired, M. Let's call the waiter in order. You'll feel better after a good dinner. If I could only find a starting point. I've never failed on an assignment before, Yvonne. If this one flaws me, I think I'd resign. Nonsense. Em, um, you've done some wonderful work. You mustn't be so easily discouraged. That blind man out there has the right idea. Em, I was just talking to him. He's an American. He served in the Canadian forces. There must be some answer. And he's been in Paris ever since. And you should have seen how proudly he drew himself up when he told me that he still served his country. 
He still serves his country. So he said, but he wouldn't tell me how. And I don't understand what he would... Well, what's the matter, Em? Ivan, listen. That's code. The blind man's tapping out a message with his cane. There's a car at the curb. Yes. And now that the message has been tapped out, it's pulling away. Ivan, stay here. I'm going to try and follow that car. disappeared before Agent M could find a cab. However, M was convinced they'd made a beginning. He and Yvonne took turns sitting at the sidewalk table near the blind man. Four days later, while Yvonne was on duty, the same car stopped at the curb. A man stepped out. Has the mail arrived? Yes, monsieur. Tap it out. Don't try to step into your car. Who are you? What do you mean by pointing a gun at me? I want you to answer some questions. And what if I refuse? Like this. Ow! Now you do as I say. Get in the car. Get in, I said. Don't. few hours, Agent M realized that something had happened to Yvonne. He immediately took Monsieur the Blind Man into custody and questioned him. My assistant has disappeared. You must have heard something. I have no information for you. You mean you refuse to tell me what you know? I must refuse. Perhaps you prefer a military trial. The firing squad is the penalty a spy pays in this country. If I must die for my country, I'm ready. I gave my eyes during the Great War. If now I must sacrifice my life... But you're not serving your country. You're serving the state that's trying to overthrow world peace. You're serving the war makers. What do you mean? I serve America. They told me... Monsieur the blind man, I think I understand this whole plot now. You've been tricked. You're not working with American agents. You're working for an aggressor state. You've been tricked, used by spies you cannot see. Uh, there's a ring of truth in your voice. If I was sure you spoke the truth... What is your name? Your real name? Mario Teachens. Uh, Mr. Teachens, listen to me. I am willing to go with you to the Prefect of Police or to the Secret Service, if you prefer. Have my credentials examined. You cannot see me. But in that way, you can convince yourself that I am who I claim to be. You're willing to go to the police? Right now, my assistant, Mr. Rell, has been seized by enemy agents. They might even kill her. You've got to help me. Enemy agents? I wondered why they spoke my language with an accent. I will help you. I thought I served America. If I've been mistaken, I... They tricked you because you were blind. Did you hear Miss Durrell see? Yes. As she was arresting the man who was listening to my message. He knocked the gun out of her hand and he took her away in his car. Have you any idea where she might have been taken? No, no, I... I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I... I don't know. Wait. Tomorrow, he'll return. What do you mean? Your assistant interrupted as I was tapping out my message. Tomorrow, the man who seized her will come again because he must have the information. I only hope tomorrow won't be too late. Next afternoon, the spy who seized Yvonne approached Monsieur the Blind Man on foot. When he thought no one was listening, he again asked the question which identified him. Has the mail arrived? Yes. Tap it out. Quickly. Wait. Are you all right? Of course. Well, what about the girl? She's being held prisoner in my rooms. 
the head will be here tonight. He will know what to do with her. Yeah. The address is written on this slip of paper. Have someone read it for you. I want you to meet the head. That will be a pleasure. But the girl is safe. Of course she's safe. What is it to you? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Then tap out the message. I can't stand here all day. Special Agent M, you're under arrest. If you try to knock the gun out of my hand as you did with my assistant yesterday afternoon, I won't hesitate to kill you. Did you find out where Ivan is, Mr. Tijin? Yes. She's at the address on this piece of paper. Good. That is a trap. Yes. You told me that when I worked with you, I served my country. I found that you lied, Agent M. I've just been told that not only is your assistant at that address, but tonight the head of the spy ring comes there. He also can be arrested. You'll never arrest me. Uh, what has happened? He tried to get away, Monsieur the Blind Man. I had to kill him. Now we'll go and get Yvonne. agent. This type of spy is the most numerous of all and appears in many guises to cloak their illicit activities. Stories of other types of agents and spies will be told in the future. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. Mm-hmm.